Good morning, everyone. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. And welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards and see what's in store with a message from Spirit. Today I'm using the Wisdom of Avalon Oracle deck for our general theme and then the Awakening Avalon Oracle deck as well. And uh, I do want to say, you guys, we got a new moon today. Today is the new moon in Sagittarius. Do look for the video that I'm doing about this new moon. I will connect it to the reading here today. Uh, this is a beautiful moon, so we want to take advantage of the goodness. So let's see what Spirit has as a general message to then amplify with the Awakening Avalon. So here we go. Okay. Okay, interesting. So general message here is the wasp energy and i actually understand this right away pulling this card so the wasp energy is about anger retaliation and jealousy now what we're seeing right now in the collective energy is a lot of triggering and we've been seeing that throughout the fall um, and for some they have moved past it but for others they're right in the thick of it they're being confronted with this it's a connection to what's called an ego death and if you are not sure what we mean by that or what I mean by that, check out Spirit Coffee Talk on the Avalon Spirit page. I'll connect that to the video, video as well. We talked about ego death and what that means and how we're experiencing it right now. So in the collective, we are experiencing a burning away of old layers of protection, which when we don't recognize it at that, it can step in and show itself as anger, retaliation, and jealousy when really what the ego is doing by bringing up those energies is trying to show us where we need healing, transmutation, where we can let go of something. So notice if anything is coming up for you right now in this moon energy. And if you do notice it, turn to the moon energy, which is peaceful, um, bountiful, and lovely to help you transmute this. So let's see what the other cards wanna say to expand on that collective, <clears throat> excuse me, the collective energy right now that can be pretty chaotic. What are we seeing for the very personal message right now? What do we want to focus on, Spirit? Okay, I get it. So again, personally, it is about us connecting to the cosmos, cosmic cycles, uh, open to other dimensions, open to the insights from above, from your guides, this new moon energy is exactly a cosmic energy helping to show us something. So take advantage of it. That's what this card is saying. Take advantage right now of the cosmic energy of the higher realms of how spirit is wanting to come through and share insights for you that are all coming into your solar plexus. So we had this just the other day. Our solar plexus is our truth center. It's our BS center for others, for things we see external to us, but also for us. It is the place that's going to call BS on you, right? It's that part that when you're trying to lie to yourself about something, it's going to call you out. So I actually love the pairing of these two cards together because this is saying what is being triggered within us, what is being exposed for us right now is for our highest good. Take a look at it. There's a truth coming up somewhere for you so that you can change it, not for you to beat yourself up, but for you to change it. That's a beautiful thing. We can see that as a freedom if we choose to look at it that way. So when you notice the things coming up, um, see how you can release them. You may also in your solar plexus, again, that's your chakra that's just above your belly button and it's a yellow color, speaks of personal truths. When you see things coming up, you may also see beautiful aspects of self coming up to be acknowledged too. So don't dismiss the things that you have overcome, that you have grown from, that you have done in a really good way, as well as the triggers, bring in both. And then to move through some of that energy and wash it away, look to water right now. Allow water to help you clear energies that no longer are needed in your body to flush them out. Whenever there's lots of anger, jealousy, resentment, fiery energy around, it's great to use water to cool it, to, um, smooth it out to cleanse it out and so whether it be your drinking water your bath your shower maybe you're doing cold plunges maybe you're diving into the ocean for cold plunges however it is you choose to do it add an intention to your water so if you have a glass of water on your desk you can even you know write a little note that says peace harmony and calm 
and you stick it on your water and that actually imbues the water with an energy of that so that when you take it in you're bringing in that frequency into your body you're using water to cleanse your frequency so with this new moon energy today meaning new intentions new energetics notice where the insights are coming in for you to cleanse for you to acknowledge and embrace connect into that cosmic energy to do so so that you can shift any personal angers resentments jealousies or cleanse away external ones that are not yours that you don't need to take on or experience so that you can stay in an energy of peace because that is what this moon is about so definitely check out the moon uh, video and as well the spirit coffee talk one it's worth it and uh, i will leave that with you guys for now so I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Happy new moon to you. And I will see you guys tomorrow. And I do want to say quickly, check out the Avalon Spirit website for the uh, Onyx Friday Quartz Monday sale, 20% off. Definitely want to take advantage of it. Um, there's only a few days left, so definitely do that. Okay, everyone. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.